right so welcome back to the session today i am going to discuss about heating effects of electric current okay so look at the circuit diagram uh, i have a electric device so this is the electric device which is connected through a battery in the sense of potential difference v through one key okay suppose if key is closed there is a current i which starts flowing through the circuit from positive terminal to negative terminal at the same time whenever key is closed some electrons which starts moving from negative terminal to positive terminal in this device okay so i told you already this device contains infinite number of electrons right so whenever key is closed some more electrons which are transferred from negative terminal to device so these incoming electrons collide with the electrons inside the device okay so whenever electron and electron collides definitely it loses some amount of energy that loss in energy is converted into heat so i am going to write that point so whenever electron collides with the electron therefore it loses it loses some amount of energy some amount of energy this energy is converted into heat or heat energy okay so finally i uh, will get some amount of heat energy okay so whatever the heat energy was developed inside the circuit this heat energy it depends on only three factors okay so whatever the heat generated in the device this heat is directly proportional to resistance of the circuit okay and whatever the heat generated in the device this heat is directly proportional to time taken by the device that means when time increases more collision occurs when more collision occurs means more heat is generated okay and whatever the heat generated in a device this heat is directly proportional to square of the current okay so if you combine all these three equations you will get h is proportional to i square or t or h is equal to some constant k into i square or t okay suppose if k value is 1 then h is equal to i square or t okay so this is the theoretical proof for heating effects of electric current okay suppose if you want mathematical proof for heating effects of electric current just a second yes so now i am going to discuss about proof okay as we know that electric potential v is equal to work done by charge okay so bring this work done left side therefore work done is equal to v into q am i right let us assume this is equation number 1 now look at here we know that according to ohm's law v is equal to ir right and also according to electric current i is equal to q by t so from this q is equal to i into t right okay so directly you can substitute this v formula here and q formula here therefore you will get work is equal to ir into it so i into i i square so i square or t this work done is nothing but in the form of heat energy so finally h is equal to i square or t okay so this is the mathematical proof for heating effects of electric current okay so i hope you understand thank you thank you so much